This is Jonathan Matoshnik. I got the question. I have a small trailer and a push mower. I believe it was a 21 inch push mower. What's the best course of action? What's my next step? Really, when, when, if you have that type of equipment, I think that you really want to look at residential. You may have heard me say it before. If you have an interest in commercial, this is a nice time to experiment with some really small commercial properties. And what I mean by that is maybe a property that's three times larger than your average residential. So something that the way the property is configured and broken down, it really lends itself to be one that makes the most sense to push mow it. And by push mow, that could be a self-propelled mower, but to push mow it versus using a rider or a walk behind. Because if that's the case, then you're gonna still be able to have a competitive price, a competitive bid, yet you're gonna get a little experience dealing with a, res a commercial property, how, they, how they're how they used to uh, quoting and, es and a asking for quotes in the marketplace, just the way that you communicate with them, the way their mindset works in terms of choosing a, a vendor, because it is different than the homeowner that uh, takes a personal in more personal involvement in their property. So even though the commercial property is small and you may not have the official multi-page legal agreement contract stating everything you're gonna do, you still really get to learn the flavor and feel for a little bit of what's involved in commercial. And everything in business is all about doing it that first time and getting over that fear of the unknown. Everything's about doing it the first time and kind of getting a feel for it and understanding so that the next time you you deal in that same situation, you have a different level of confidence and that confidence is what helps you sell. So that's why I encourage you that if you think one day you wanna be in commercial, take a step right now, go ahead and move that direction and, 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 and give it a shot, give it a try, but do it with a small property where you actually have a chance of being competitive and you're not tempted to underbid it because you're trying to compete with somebody that's using a much more efficient piece of equipment on that property and therefore your bid comes in too low because you're trying to mow an area with a 21 inch when they're using a 61 inch rider. You obviously can't be competitive and that lends itself to underbidding. Then it lends itself to being miserable with the property. Then that lends itself to you saying, ah, oh, this whole commercial thing is not worth it. It doesn't work, there's no money in it. Don't put yourself in that position to make such a bad, bad uh, assumption. So start out small, give commercial a try. So let's go back. You have, a, you have a small mower and you've got a trailer. Residential is really your market because that's when you're gonna find the most properties from a maintenance standpoint that need your services where you can be competitively priced, where you can go out, make some money, save the money to buy the bigger equipment, where you can make some money and reinvest in your equipment. Uh, you can do so quite quickly. Uh, fortunately, the small tools are not that expensive. For about 3,000 bucks, you can fully equip a truck, generally, depends what you're buying but you can fully equip your truck uh, and have everything you need to really go out and compete with almost anyone on the small properties. And I would say that's probably a lot of about 16,000 square feet or less, gross 16,000 square feet or less. So I would encourage you to look at the residential approach and I would focus almost exclusively on that. I'd build your business up. If you wanna move into something else, do it later as you've built up the cash to number one, be able to afford the equipment and number two, to be able to market in that, uh, whatever that arena is that you now wanna expand your business into. Thank you.